What we're looking at in this presentation is this income summary account. It's a temporary account taking the net income, revenues, and expenses for the year, putting them into the income summary account. They summed up and then the net amount flows back into returned earnings in the balance sheet. So we've got the balance sheet accounts here, the assets, the liabilities, and retained earnings part of stockholders' equity, and then the income statement accounts here, which includes would be the net income. During the year, we got um, transactions and the assets and the liabilities area, and they're flowing in here, and those charges are being accumulated in the revenues and expenses account in the income statement, and then. At the end of the year, all those revenues expenses again are put into income summary, and the income summary takes the net amount and puts it into retained earnings. To understand what's going on in this income statement, let's just take a look what happens here. Year one, we always start out with a zero balance since it was closed at the end of the following year. And then whatever is accumulated in the uh, income statement accounts, it gets transferred into balance sheet accounts. And the th same thing happens the following years. Zero amount in the beginning of the year, since it was closed in the end of the last year, and any amount gets summed and it gets transferred into the, onto the balance sheet retained earnings. And it gets accumulated in that account, as you can see here. There we go. There is the flow into the retained earnings. Now, of course, that's a balance sheet account. It's running. It's a running total of what the net income for the years were. But you have to remember, retained earnings was reduced by the dividends that were paid out. Let's take a look, close look at this income summary account, just so you get an idea how the um, debits and credits and closing out how it how it works here. We got this. Uh, this balance sheet which has the retained earnings and then you got this temporary account here income summary account and then you have got the net income here so let's just look at what happens under a typical year here say we had a uh, ending amount of a thousand dollars here in revenues so to close out this revenue counts the income summary would debit the thousand dollars here and credit the thousand dollars to the income summary account and then to close income summary out to the retained earnings we would debit the thousand here and credit the corresponding amount to retained earnings here now let's look at an expense here we had a net amount at the end of the year at 200 so we would to close it out we'd credit expenses for 200 and debit income summary for 200 and then to close the income summary out to the retained earnings we would credit the 200 to income summary and debit 200 to retained earnings and from that we can see that the revenues increase retained earnings and the expense accounts decrease retained earnings Let's take a closer look here at the income summary account and look at that flow. And what what we have to look at here is the income summary account is really a net amount that flows into retained earnings. You do the sum of the credits and debits and whatever balance you get, then that gets transferred into retained earnings. So here we took the thousand dollars here and we debit it here and credit it here and then we had some expenses here so we credit it here and put the corresponding debit account over here and then we also had some cost of goods sold which is another expense and we credit it here and we put this corresponding debit amount over here then what we had done here is we looked at the sum what is the sum net sum amount so we took we had 300 here, minuses, and 1,000 credits, which were a plus. So the net amount was $700. So at the end of the year, when we close this income summary out, we would debit 700 to income summary and credit retained earnings 
for seven hundred dollars now at, at this point the income statement balances here are transferred to the income summary account and the income summary account are tra transferred to the retained earnings this is a temporary account the income summary account these also are temporary or nominal accounts because they get zeroed out and closed at the end of the year so after the closing and for the start of the new year we'd have our income summaries the like the revenues and expenses and cost of goods sold all those T accounts here have a zero balance along with the income summary would have a zero balance because that's all been closed out to retained earnings and if we look further here the balance sheet accounts which would include all of the invest well the assets liabilities contributed capital and earned capital all those are um, they're not zeroed out those are not resets reset they're just an accumulative amount and that's how the income summary account works at this point.